Hey there everyone, my name is Atesh and in this video I'll walk you through how you can set up an SSL certificate on your Nginx web server and can have your website all on HTTPS. It's really not that of a big deal, it's surely doable and you will also be able to do this after this video. Not only that, I will also give you the documentation, precise documentation that you can copy paste and whenever you need them again, just come back here, docs.chaicode.com. But for that, uh, I'll request you to put up a comment that, hey, these documentation are helpful or all these videos are really helpful. Uh, we're putting up a target of just 100 comments. I think we can achieve that. And I'm pretty sure a lot more people are watching. If you'll spend just a minute to write down this comment section, it would be really helpful for me. So let's go ahead and let me walk you through that how the SSL certificate works and uh, what are the prerequisites for this one. So one number one prerequisites about the certificate is to have this domain name. It might not work on the HTTPS yet, but having a domain name is required. There is no other option. You need to have the authority to set up the domain, set up an IP address on that. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. So that's the number one requirement. Once you've set up this uh, basic configuration that I showed you in the last video that, hey, just set up your A record with the IP address and that's it. That's all you have to do in the DNS. Come on to the Chai Docs and at the very bottom here, you can see this one, last one is the setup of SSL in Nginx on Ubuntu. Same can be done for other machines as well, but there are some certain steps we have to follow that. We'll follow them line by line, we'll understand them, and that's it, that's all you gotta do. So the step one is to install CertBot and the Nginx plugin. So there are two combination of the things which makes it auto-configurable for the Nginx, and there's one guy who brings up the certificates as well. So the cert bot is responsible for bringing the certification and the Nginx is plugin is the Nginx plugin which injects everything in between. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply run the command of sudo apt install cert bot and python3 cert bot Nginx. So these are the two components. Let's go ahead and copy this, uh, go back up here and you can install them from wherever you like, doesn't really matter much. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna ask password. And let's go ahead and give it a password. And yes, I want to accept everything. And yep. So this usually doesn't take that much of time, but it's a tiny bit. It gets a lot of things done and all these things. Yes, it might look a little bit scary, uh, but nothing to worry. We have just installed a couple of packages. That's it. Now, the next step is to configure your Nginx. And the configuration happens into the default file. And in the default file, precisely, we have to mention this time server underscore name. This is a directive again. And this directive takes a URL and this could be a subdomain. This could be a main domain. In our case, it's a daily streak dot app. Uh, but in my case, it could be test.chaiko.com. In your case, it could be something else. So the subdomain, domain, whatever that is, you need to just give that. Let's go ahead and open that up. So this is going to be sites available. Is it the same one? Uh, yep, default one. Let's go ahead and do a quick ls and default is there. So I'm gonna go ahead and say sudo nano, and I'm gonna open up the default. And I'm going to go this time the server. No, notice here, the previously there was a server name which was localhost. Now that's not going to be the case. It's not going to be localhost. So we're going to go ahead and remove this localhost. So go ahead and remove it. And instead of having this manually typed, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. So I'll just copy this. And I'll come back here and I will paste it. So dailystreak.app, in case yours is subdomain or something else, you can just go ahead and grab that. So that's the step one. Let's go back onto this. So server name, again, remember server name, dailystreak.app, whatever that is, you can just go ahead and have this. Now the next step is go ahead, save the file and check out whether the configurations are done or you have done some mistake on that. So control O to save that. Yes, I want to write that and control X to quit that. And we're going to go ahead and check the nginx t command, sudo nginx dash t. So I'm going to go ahead and run this sudo nginx dash, not like that, nginx dash t. All right, so what happened? Nginx, oh, my bad, <laughs> my bad, my bad. nginx dash t should be all good. And it says syntax is okay, test is successful, looks okay, looks decent. All right, the next step is we now need to create a record in your domain registrar that usually used to take a lot of uh, request and step. In our case, we just went with the GoDaddy, set up the A record to the IP address of our server. 
So record a type, test, whatever the name is, and the value is the IP address. That's it. We have already done this step. Now we are on to the step four, which is obtain an SSL certificate. In order to do so, we just need to run this command and just have to modify with the URL name. That is important. It will ask you some of the question based on that. You have to actually answer that uh, properly. Otherwise, the certificate might mismatch and all these things might happen. So just go ahead and paste this. And instead of saying that, hey, this is going to be test.chaiko.com, I'll just go ahead and paste the URL of this one. So I'll just copy this and I'll come back and I'll paste this and I'll hit enter. Now this is going to ask a couple of questions that email address you want to use for renewal. So in this case, I'm going to use, uh, let's just say Hitesh at uh, chaicode.com and this will be used. This will send me even an email on this email address. So I'll just go ahead and hit enter and uh, order with register do you agree of course i agree all the licenses you always have to there is no much options for you so yes and digital freedom yes i also want to support that so requesting certificate for the daily streak app and it shouldn't take that much of the time but depends on how much busy the server is going on because it's a free certificate request it's also going to deploy that and it says congratulations you have enabled https on the daily streak app uh, looks good. Now, this also takes a couple of seconds and minutes, probably sometimes, to deploy that. Once you're all done, just go ahead and access your website. It takes a little bit of the time. I'll walk you through with these last two steps as well, but hopefully now it should be enabled. There we go. We deployed and checked it out. Uh, the reason why it didn't work before that because some of these domains, like especially .app, there are a couple of ones, others as well, which do not work with the HTTP. And yes, other things like .com, .in, .uk, they work with HTTP as well. But these are special domains, so they have some requirement that they cannot work without HTTPS. But hey, look at this. This is our own application running on our own VPS. We have installed HTTPS on that. The certificates are all running and up. Hey, the deploy series is working for you. And you are still, uh, don't do that. Hit that comment section. I really want you to do that. Okay, next up, a couple of more things. We won't be running that, but hey, you can just go ahead and try that. So sometimes you might want to renew the certificates. Uh, there are some utilities which can automatically renew it. You can run Chrome jobs and a lot of other things with that. I'm not gonna go into depth of that as of now, but hey, in case you want to check if the certificate is close to expiry, you can run the command. These are optional, copy them, run them. Uh, sudo certbot, certbot is responsible for doing all of this. It can renew and check for a dry run. And in case you want to renew, that's the command. That is it. And that's it. You have done whole job. So I told you, it's really not that of a big deal, especially when you are learning with me and on the deploy series. Just keep enjoying your sip of the tea. And uh, congratulations, you have configured a domain, you have installed Nginx, you have your own SSL certificate, and I'm pretty sure you are enjoying this series. And now I know you want to install a node-based application, want to run it on the SSL and all of that. I know you are going in that direction, but don't worry. We'll check that all of this in the next video. Stay tuned. Let me know in the comment section. If you're watching it, wherever you are watching, one comment makes my day. So, or just click a photo, post me up on the Twitter. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.